Hey y'all. y'all what's up Three sixty. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to get myself together for today so that I could look presentable because you know what? I was gonna wear that ponytail today. But something was like you better than that, you know, make yourself look nice. So I'm just trying to make myself look cute. Baby, super bougie, you. She wants she fucking a boss now, nigga. So, what y'all doing today? Thank you. I wish we could listen to music on here, but we can't, so it's just like, oh, that's annoying. I don't know where the fuck, I don't know, but I'm going to go back to that wig store and get some more. I'm getting some, that's my new wig store. I'm not buying wigs from nowhere else for a minute. And I hate to be like that, but it's just like this wig is beautiful on me. That's the most important. When you a girl, that's the most important part. When you doing your hair in the front, the bang part. If the bang is messed up, baby, look. Just pray, okay? This is really easy, though. You know, you just... It's actually easier than curling hair. Because, you know, back in the day, they used to have... Like, I got these curlers. I cannot use them. But this, I can use it. It's simple. You just wrap the hair around it. And one thing I noticed about this hair, this hair, oh, I can't think I comb it out. Let's see. This hair, um, it holds curls really, 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 really good. Um, get the fuck out the way. I'm not trying to curl you right now.
Y'all, I'm not wearing no makeup today. I'm tired of wearing makeup. I, just, I can't do it no more. Where is... Okay, it must be here. What I'm looking for it gotta be in here, bro. I'm always looking for something. Y'all noticed that? Have y'all noticed that? Justice is always looking for something. That is... If I can't find it, I am going to be a little upset, but it is what it is because I do be being irresponsible. And I know better than that. That's why I don't. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Y'all, I'll be getting scared. I'll be like, please, Jesus, please. I'll be like, tell me I didn't lose what I'm looking for. Okay, 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 okay. okay. My friends be like, you should do hair. And I'm like, girl, I wouldn't do hair if my life depended on it. I don't got time to deal with these females. Because when it come to my hair, I be getting upset. So it's like, as a hairstylist, who want to deal with that? But I really have always done, I've always been pretty decent at doing my own hair. Because, of course, I'm a black girl. I'm going to make it work. Somebody probably like, what the fuck does that have to do with you being, what does that have to do with you being black? Everything, everything. We make everything work. We the, sh we the blueprints. We are the ones. We are the blueprint. Yesterday I had wood like. Yesterday I wood like tucked. Should I tuck it today? Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. It don't hurt. No, it don't hurt. I don't have a, a best friend anymore, y'all. So I'm not answering no questions about nobody that I don't talk to. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be, I want it to curl. I'm done. Now I look like somebody. Cause I was gonna go outside looking like just anybody, baby. Like, ooh, I can't do that. I know better than that. Can we get a body measurement video, fabric? I don't know, y'all. I be trying to get my body measured. I haven't got my body really measured since I was like modeling, like runway modeling. If you watch. If you've been watching me on YouTube for a long time, then you will know I did participate in runway modeling. It was very fun. I just don't. I didn't like it because I was realizing I think everybody was telling me I was too thick. I felt real big as a runway model. Like, 
I just feel big, but my favorite part about being a runway model was uh, in and out the dressing room around weird people. Like, I was in theater class, and I was in choir, so even though I was a cheerleader, I was around a lot of cool people. I still would go hang out with the weird kids in theater and choir. So when I was doing runway modeling, I was hanging out with a lot of different people. People from fucking Europe. Just weird people. You know, y'all know how that type of industry of people be. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to make it like this. Make it fall like that. So I was in choir in school, and I was a cheerleader. I've had a... I didn't live a lot of different lives, okay? Crazy. And my friends knew I was passionate about music. So they would be watching me go to choir... Then I'll get out of school, go to church practice, hang with the white girls. Then I'll go home to my little family. Then I'll go to parties with my friends up the street. It was just fun. You know, I did have a pretty, I had a very versatile childhood. I was versatile. Versatile because I was trying to put myself in stuff. Like as a black girl, I always wanted to participate. Because I was like, why can't I be a cheerleader? Why can't I being choir so i participated my friends used to be like look at justice up there with them quiet kids i was up there with them they loved me too they still cool like i i'm an all-around type of person i'm cool with everybody as long as you not envious towards me that's it i just don't like envious people at all i hate envious people y'all like it is the biggest pet peeve of my life for real I'm not doing Aldell Beckham and Kim Kardashian are no longer dating. <laughs> well, that lasted. How long did that last? I don't be surprised when people break up every day. I just, I be waiting for it. I just be like, I try my best to live my life and understand that I love myself comfortably as a single person because nothing is wrong with being single. You get what I'm saying? I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like people make it a problem with that. You know, they stress themselves out. Like, if you have to be single, just learn how to love yourself. Like... It's the fact that I didn't got up and did my hair. I didn't got cute. Chicago. Hey, Chicago. I can't do bikini hauls on YouTube no more because it got too exclusive and they was like, you not. I've been doing good ever since I stopped doing bikini hauls. I've been doing good on YouTube. That's the crazy thing about it. So I feel better, but. Y'all, look at me. <laughs> Ain't got no makeup on today. I just want to look cute. Like, I think I'm going to do my hair from now on now. I think I'm going to do my own hair. Even though it took a lot of effort to put in this, I did put a lot of effort. But at the end of the day, I just feel like, but my friend V, she's supposed to be moving back out here from Memphis in a couple of months. And she did my hair for my birthday. And it was so you y'all did y'all see my hair for my birthday man my hair was so cute i look like a i look like a barbie doll so she's supposed to be moving back out here soon and oh during my birthday that girl was just doing my hair back to back i felt like i hired her to stay with me <laughs> she was just like i woke up we went to sleep from the night out i woke up she redid my hair it just felt so good but sometimes I be like, I got to do my own hair because people be playing. Then it's just like, it's definitely a money saver. So you get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with doing your own hair. That's why I'm happy that I know. I know how to do my own hair, my own makeup. I just don't know how to do my nails and toes and my eyebrows or my eyelashes. So that's definitely a fee. Yeah, like, 
It's nothing wrong with that. Like, to me, relationships bring drama. Like, it just stress you out. I'm just, I would rather just not deal with it. Just, just hey, just call it off. Cut. End the show. I'm going home. I'm going home to my own self because I can't do that. Like, I just like to be peaceful and to be happy. And I don't like overly doing stuff for people because I feel like I've put in a lot of work and I put in a lot of hard time for myself day to day as a person. So it's like, I like to be treated. Um, I don't understand what's the reason of a man coming around me if you can't take me on a date to go. I mean, you never even bought me a McChicken. I can't do that. <laughs> that I'm teaching myself boundaries and standards at the age of 23 because everybody go through trauma. So, of course, it's always something that you feel like I'm missing this. Like, you might feel lonely. You get what I'm saying? Or you might feel like you met a person that feels in a space. But in reality, that's not really what that person is here for. So it's like you need to learn how to love yourself more. <laughs> and you need to understand that it's okay to be alone. But... Because if you don't understand that, you will invite the wrong people into your life. And don't nobody got time for that. You could just learn how to be by yourself, love yourself a little more, and understand that whatever you feel like you, you miss and you need is right here. You're okay. It's nothing to you. have nothing to worry about. Um, I don't know. Because it's like... Everybody got like a weak spot. You get what I'm saying? Everybody got a touchy, something touches them about something. So it's like, you might meet a person that feel like, I need this person because they feel in this hole. That does, just because they feel in that hole, you still have to ask yourself, does this person add value to my life? Because if they don't add value to your life, they're just here filling that one little hole. That's not enough. That's you. You being weak enough to let them feel it. You too weak. You got to be strong enough to say, oh, well, I have a hole right here. This is something that traumatized me as a kid. Instead of having somebody else come and fill it in, you fill it in. So when they come in, you don't have to be like, what, they're here for this. No, I have myself together as a whole 100%. So it will all fall back down to why are you actually here? Because I don't need you. You get what I'm saying? So make it make sense. That's why it's just... <laughs> Um, okay, we finna turn up for your birthday, Big 18. Yeah, I'm like, I, I just have to, be, sometimes as a female, you know, we are emotional and we are also sensitive here and here. So it's like, I have to, you have to tell yourself as a female, it don't matter if, a, if it's like, it don't matter. If you cannot add value, Bays, what are we, what are we combining? I'm not clicking. It's not clicking, Steven. I don't understand it. Like, what's the three-finger trick? But yes, y'all, like, you have to ask yourself that. Because, and then you know what? If a person knows your weakness, the truth be told, if a person knows if you if you meet a person and you say, hey, I really need you around because when you're around, I feel like this. And I just feel like you feeling some. They will use that against you and, you know, manipulate, manipu, manipulate you out of certain things and get you because they know that you need them on the emotional. This is why it's so important to be emotionally and physically and mentally strong. Because once a person understands that you're not emotionally or mentally or physically strong, they're going to be like, I can get over on you. And because I know that you need me emotionally, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do emotional things to you to where you feel like you need me. In reality, you don't need them. If you strengthen your emotional side and your mental side, maybe you will be a lot better at recognizing stuff. And understanding that you don't need that person. So why are you really here? Are you using me at this point? <laughs> like, let's get to the nitty gritty in this hole. Let's get to the mother. Stop it. <laughs> um, 
I'm dead, y'all. I think I'm a size 46 double D. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. So it's just like, I've been trying to figure it out because it's just like, okay. And it's like, as a girl, you be like, you tell yourself when it comes to men, you be like, you doing too much, don't overthink, you trying to analyze shit too much. And really, in reality, as a woman, it is so important for you to analyze and understand what you are getting yourself into because if you don't, you're going to be in the midst of situation. Then you're going to be calling everybody like, Mama, come get me. He just beat me up. He took my money. I don't got time for that life. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I need a vacation. Yes, it's time for me to go back to Miami. Like, I really, it's time for me to go out the country. I'm going to go to Jamaica so, 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 so bad. I want to go to Jamaica. That's one of my dream places that I want to go to. But I can't go to Jamaica by myself because I don't want to get snatched up. Like, one thing about me, I'm not traveling alone. If I travel, I need a big old strong man to come with me. I'm talking about, we need to walk through the airport if you got to be bowing everybody. Because, you know, they be snatching people up. I'm not trying to get snatched up. Please. In the name of Jesus, I will stay at home. That's why I be at home. Like, I'm a pretty girl, but I do be outside. Because y'all be seeing me on Instagram. I'll be outside. I'll be at the club. But when it's time to go home, I come back home and I get in that bed. It's night, night time. <laughs> oh. Hey, mom, can you pick me up from school? I don't have no kids, so I don't know what you're talking about. I really did enjoy Miami, y'all. It was really, 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 really fun. Somebody texted me on Instagram and said, I spot you on Snapchat randomly. This is what people do. They be texting me from high school. They be texting me from just, you know, and it's actually surprising, though. It really is. But <sighs> that's the truth. It's like somebody texted me the other day and was like, I just saw you on baddies. That's how I, it lets me know that the work that you are putting in, don't ever think that it goes unnoticed because Every second of the day, people are seeing your progress. It's YouTube. You have so much that you have invested in. So don't think that it's going to go down the drain. People are seeing it. Like, and I, you know what I really think is cool about y'all? I really have a special, a special feeling for my people from like New York. I like, I've never been upstate before. I've never been to Chicago or New York. I haven't really been upstate i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a, I'm a southern baby you get what i'm saying i'm from texas let alone palestine texas so it's like when people are watching me and they come in new york chicago i'll be like what i'm like dang i've never been to new york before sounding like a looney tune character um anyways y'all so I just really want to go to New York one day. I think I will go to New York. I don't know. But... <sighs> then everybody's like, I saw you on Jack TV. <laughs> I like that when y'all do that. I do not like when people on Instagram, you look good as always. He talking about you look good as always. Baby, just say thank you. You saw me on the video. All that flirting and shit. I'm not get, I'm not coming off no ass. That's what I'm not doing. So let's change. <laughs> Y'all, I'll be making my own self <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, guys, so I'm just, everybody is always saying that, hit the gritty. What is that? What is the gritty? What is the gritty? I don't know what the gritty is.
Y'all, I was doing my hair up in here, so I was definitely in my bathroom. But I usually just be up in here. Y'all know this is my little spot, my living room. as a woman, so I'm not going to respond to you. Y'all, oh, sometimes y'all really be making me angry because I don't understand what y'all be saying. Like, y'all just don't make sense sometimes to me. Like, that's very frustrating for me to deal with. <sighs> that's why mm -mm, I see why people hide their kids and stuff. Because, <laughs> where is my chapstick at? Please be in here. Please. Thank you. Who a Capricorn in here right now? Anybody a Capricorn? If you a Capricorn and half of the time when you watch my lives, you be like, yup, I know what she's talking about. Just tell me, like, because I want to know do all Capricorns think of, like, you a Capricorn? I'm glad I got out of just sticking lip gloss on my lips every second because that stuff be so sticky. <clears throat> hey. Why is my mama on my Facebook? She get on my nerves with that. Like, ooh. Let me see what she posting on her Facebook. My mama really don't be in my business like that, though. But why is you on that Facebook, though? You watching and you trying to see what I'm posting. But she never confront me. Like, when I was in school... And I was 13, I was on Facebook being grown, and I had no business being on Facebook talking about I want to fight people. I was just just sassy, you get what I'm saying? Just smart at the mouth. And I used to get in trouble because my mom used to be like, you on Facebook and this, this, that, and I used to get in trouble. So now it's just like she don't say anything to me. <laughs> she don't call me and be like, why you post this or why you... It just, I, I think she probably just be watching and just like keeping her thoughts to herself. But it's like, sometimes I be sharing stuff like wrong stuff. You get what I'm saying? And I be like, oops, sorry. I had to block my grandma though. I blocked my grandma from my Facebook. But I'm, my, my cousins be showing her stuff. But like, I had to block her because Facebook is just, it's the, it's not even about the pictures or nothing that I post. It's about the stuff that I be sharing. It's too grown, and they not used to that. <laughs> Thank you. Just hope your mama not on your Twitter. My mama too country. Like 
My mama too country. She know what I do, but she's definitely too country. Like my people that got that are parents in a the city, they are so much updated. Like to be a parent in Houston or New York, you're very much updated on what's going on. My mama is country. She go to work. You get what I'm saying? She don't really know much about social media other than Facebook. She know about Instagram. But she's not really in tune like I am. So she sees stuff. She sees the pictures. But she don't really see, like, every, 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 every crazy thing. But she knows what's going on, though. She knows what's going on. She just, I think she mind her business because she don't really get in my business like that. She don't be like, oh, do you got a boy? Who you talk to? This and that. Because um, she don't get in my business like that. <laughs> Like I told y'all, I grew up in the country. I'm not a city baby. So a lot of stuff I wasn't hip to. I was very much not hip to knowing a lot of things about social media. But I told y'all I went to college close by Houston. So I started getting in the mix of stuff like that. Coming to Houston, boom, I'm in Houston. But next thing you know, though, y'all, like when only when only came out, girls were signing up at 18. When I was 18, I was in college. I was graduated, working. Went to college, two semesters, left, went to Dallas, um, did YouTube, 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 YouTube. Then I moved to Houston, then I started getting hip to stuff, then I started on that. And at that age, I was 20, I was 20, yep, I was 20 because I'm 23, so that would be technically like three years ago, two years ago. So... Yeah, because for my 21st birthday, I had a ball because that was my first time, like, you know, for my 21st birthday, I didn't have a job. Then 22nd birthday, that was the second year. Now the 23rd birthday, that's the third year. Next year, I'm going to be 24. So, <laughs> I better keep adding this stuff because I'm getting, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, I didn't start when I was 18. Like, ain't going to lie to y'all. I knew that I couldn't do that at that age because the my people was really invested in me. Like, not invested. They didn't put me in school. I put myself in school. But they just was... It, that would have been crazy for me. Like, I wasn't born in the city, so I didn't grow up fast. I grew up slow. So, I when I got grown, like, 20, 21 years old, that's when I started doing what I wanted to do, like, smoking, I always went to parties. I've been a party here, but yeah, I started only when I was 20. So that's three years ago. If I could have started at 18, would I have? Yes. <laughs> Baby, I'll be seeing them girls that's 18, and I'll be like, boy, I know what's going on. I'll be like, that's that's lit to me. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, sometimes I'm grateful that I did get a chance to go to college experience. I went to college and I met everybody. I've had an eventful life. I went to college. I had roommates. I just had a good time in school. I had some bad times too, but for the most part, like, college was pretty cool. But I enjoy doing what I do. Anyways, though, y'all, um, I'm ready to get in my 30s, though. Like, sometimes 
I'm like, being young is fun and I'm having fun a little bit, you get what I'm saying? But sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm ready to just be wisdom, wisdom 100%. But of course, nothing is never going to be 100% because you still learning as you age. But it's just like, I'm kind of ready to be out the mix a little bit. Like, I can't wait for all of this to be over with so I can just chill. You get what I'm saying? And just sit back. I haven't sat back since I split up, baby. I'm tired. I am tired. I'm good and tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's not even tired. I'm just ready to be on endless vacations. Like, I'm ready to just live that 30 30 lifestyle <laughs> thank you jody who is the who is my biggest fan in her right now i like fucking with killers dreadhead mm. i can't do squats that's why i'm missing a part right here this is why I don't know, sometimes I'm like, it's cute that it dropped like that and the cuff is underneath, but sometimes I'm like, I wish it stood, but it's like, my friend's like, just the only reason why your butt is not, you don't have this part of your butt is because you don't do squats. And it's like, baby, that hurts. I'm not a squat type of female. I'm not going to be doing all of this all day. I'm too cute for that. So it's like, I just really need to get myself together. I need to get a trainer. I just, I met a trainer not too long ago, but I was just like, <laughs> I don't know who. I stopped posting about only on her though because YouTube got strict about a lot. Y'all remember I used to put it in my description. I was eating, boy. I was doing it, but they changed it. So I had to switch things up. And um, I do not post about only on YouTube at all. Like, if you find out, you find out. I don't even like talking about it in my videos because they don't like it. But I have a new video coming out, y'all. I'm trying to have it out by today, but I'll probably end up having it out by tomorrow. Y'all really going to enjoy this video, though. It is 14 minutes, so I'm not understanding. Okay. I'm on... Who's my biggest fan? Somebody said, if you go to jail, I'm going to bail you out. <laughs> I be laughing, y'all. Like, y'all, people don't understand. Like, my photographer asked me, like, I want to do people. I think when people meet me, they be expecting me to be very intimidating. Like, very intimidating, very mean. And, I, and it's all because of this, oh, you got the bad look. You look like a bad man. You cute. Baby, look, don't compare me because of all of that. Now you're doing too much. You're judging me. Now I'm going to get mad. So when I get mad like that, now they feel like I'm being mean. You judging me. So you didn't take the chance to understand me and get to know me. So it's like I do feel like one of these days I'm going to convert to a side where it's like I don't have to explain myself to people. And then you really going to feel some type of way like, oh, she real man. No, I just don't have to explain myself to you. I'm good. Don't want to talk. So it's just like I am a cool vibe. I'm a cool person. So it's like don't be intimidated by me just because I look nice. What does that mean? I'm not intimidated. People don't intimidate me. And I try my best to teach myself that, like, you don't, you're not budging me, baby. Scoot over. Who you is? I don't know you. So, how you doing? I'm doing good. I hope you have a good day. It's nothing to be. It's nothing to be intimidated by nobody for. What we intimidated for? Like, you get what I'm saying? But, I don't realize that. So sometimes when I peek that people think I'm intimidating, I just get mad because it's like, I can't control how everybody feels. So right now I'm having the YouTube video that I posted being reviewed. 
So I cannot wait for y'all to see. I'm just, I'm kind of happy about this video because I feel like I was real cute, okay? Okay, I need to figure out what I'm going to eat today. Y'all, what should I eat today? Because I made tacos yesterday. Should I cook me something or should I make me some noodles? I really don't think I should go out and eat. I can, but it's like, what should I do? Um, I ate tropical smoothie the other day. I don't want wing stop. I don't want Chipotle. I don't want Kava. I really want. I really want. I don't want no spaghetti. I don't want pasta. I want. I want some seafood. <laughs> I want some crab. I want. Oh my God! I know what I want. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put some bumping in it. Let me put some. Um. Let's see what I want. I hope I don't do this to myself right now, please. What you posted? show y'all what I want to eat today. I think I'm going to go to Lotus. God forgive me for doing this. This is my last time eating out though. After today, I because I went grocery shopping yesterday, so it's like, what's the reasoning of you going to eat? Like, I try to keep my country tendencies because my country tendencies is what helped me survive in life. I ain't going to lie to y'all like, I done met a lot of females from the city. They just act slow to the point where it's like certain females are like, oh my gosh, I have to go out to eat every day and I want this milkshake every day. They just, I'm a bougie female, but to a certain extent. And it's like, I don't have to do that. I can make me some chicken wings at home, green beans, you get know what I'm saying, and whip it up at home. But I need to... <laughs> I bet y'all be like, what? <laughs> So it's like, but it's this gumbo spot. Ooh, hold on. I think, but see, this is what I'm thinking about going to go get. It. I think I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna go get this. I think I'm gonna go get this because that's a fried lobster. See, I like eating. I be watching people on YouTube eat. Like, I like to watch people eat. So, it's like shrimp. Po' boy. That look good. They got Cajun Alfredo. That look good, too, though. I always get this. This is what I always get. I like Lotus on Kirkwood, but I think I've probably been to the one in Paraguay. Nah, that look good. <laughs> look. Hold on, cuz. Hold on, cuz. I'll eat that up. That look fine. That do look good. But my thing is, I want to add corn. I got to make a call. I got to make a placement, an uh, order. Of <gasps> Maybe I should just call them right now. Closed. Today is Sunday. Oh my God. I do this every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. This is insane. They close every Sunday. I forgot that. 
I just can't with my life right now. Like, this is just not... I'm upset. I don't know what I'm going to eat. <coughs> I don't want no taco truck. Let's search up. Maybe I should get. I want some sushi. I want Benny Hanna's. See, that's my thing. When I be trying to eat out, I be trying to do it big. I be trying to do it big. I don't want crafty crabs. I eat crafty crabs a lot. Let's look at some sushi. Keep up with your day. I'm dead. E <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, but for real, I do be moving too fast. I be like, okay, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. Okay, I'm up. I gotta do YouTube. I gotta do content. Okay, I gotta go do this. I gotta do that. I just be moving fast. Like one day I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be like, let me do my YouTube video. I gotta do my content. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I think I wanna go out to eat. Hold on, let's check, let's check. Do I deserve that for myself, though? Like, <laughs> what if I went? My friend called me. Sometimes when people call, I be like, do I want to answer? Hello? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll be acting like I'm irritated. <laughs> I say, mm -hmm. okay, let me hurry up because my friend needs a favor. Okay, y'all, I love y'all so much. I hope that y'all have a great day today. I'm going to come back on here later and I'm going to show y'all what I ate. Because clearly, I do care about y'all, and I know that y'all care about me. And I just want to thank y'all for joining my live and, you know, watching me be goofy and talk about stuff. Because y'all know I be talking. Like, I talk too much. Y'all always say it. But it's okay because if you a real one, you're going to listen. It just take a few seconds to listen to what somebody got to say. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> y'all, I have truly the syndrome. Y'all notice I always do this. I'm always like, okay, okay. So, uh, okay. And it's like, it's just, it's just the cheerleader. I don't know what the fuck. But y'all, I really hope that y'all have a good day today. And I pray that everything goes well for everybody in their life. And, um, shout out to Russia because they drop, they drop them pictures. And that's, that's been good. I did share the term whenever I found that out, just being in the black culture because I, I'm very emotional to that. You get what I'm saying? I'm a black woman. So whenever Russia posted that and people was on TikTok, like, oh my God, they exposing the truth. I'm like, the truth is finally shaking the table. So you know what I'm saying? Just shout out to Russia right now. I really don't care how nobody feel. And I really love y'all. I hope that y'all have a good day today. And I hope that God is with y'all. And yeah. So I enjoyed y'all. And thank you, Felipe. Thank y'all. Have a good day. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I wanted to give everybody a chance to drop a comment, but I love y'all. I hope that today goes good for y'all.